Bonjour Ben, comment ça va Bonjour François, ça va bien, merci. Est-ce que tu es prêt à faire le bilan de la saison du VAFC Bien, sûr. Sure. Euh, Est-ce que tu veux le faire en français ou en anglais En anglais, cette saison, euh, et plus tard en français. Uh, so, uh, let's speak English and uh, oui. let's do the review of the, uh, of the season. Uh, the season is not over yet, but uh, except a miracle, oui. Nancy will be relegated in national uh, at the end of the season. Oui. How can you explain that? Um, to explain, we, we, have, we, we will be here a long, long, long time. Uh, I think uh, there's, there's many reasons why. Um, and, and we have to be honest to say, uh, From, from our point of view, mistakes have been made. Um, honesty is always the best policy. Um, I think we, we, we took over a, a football club um, that you never really, I've been involved in takeovers before, and until you are in the building, you never actually know what is under the floorboards, we say. Um, and there's been a lot to deal with, um, whether that be with the squad, Um, whether that be with uh, discipline, uh, jobs, people in departments. Um, there's been a lot to deal with, um, more so I would say on the organisation and the business side to help with, to help with the football um, from day to day. Um, it was qu quite bare, it was a shell, there wasn't, there wasn't enough jobs. So uh, automatically in the first sort of month, six weeks, within the first team, within the, the, as you know, the administration side with, um, with jobs and with the, within the formation, the academy, we've had to really try and create um, a football club, uh, is to be honest with you. So um, I think there's a lot of stuff that have gone, that's gone on that we are still dealing with today. Um, putting this infrastructure, changing the training facility, Um, as you can see, that we, we've already started work on the football pitches. A huge, a huge part um, is, no, is no excuse, just, just facts. That, that the last three and a half months, we, we haven't been able to train on our, on our, tra on our training pitches, um, which as a footballer or an ex-footballer, as a staff, um, uh, as players, is, is very, very difficult. Um, it creates um, hard work to organise training sessions, structure, you pick up injuries. We have picked up injuries in, the, in this course of time. And that's, and that's purely because we haven't been able to train on, on a training pitch that, that has been neglected, um, which has not had work on it, um, especially at the beginning of this season, uh, through the summer, and um, has been, has been in, in a bad condition, a poor condition for many, many years. You, you, you were surprised by this uh, just before you arrived. Maybe you have some ideas about the club, and when mm -hmm. you arrived, mm -hmm. what did you discover? Um, well, first you, you you discover that the the training facility is not is not in a good way. It's not in a good shape. Um, we have improved the gym. We have improved uh, the nutrition. Um, the players are now having breakfast. They are now having lunch, which means we can now control um, more the, the, the weight, the fitness, how people sleep, how people um, move, which is professionalism. Uh, and, and professionalism, dedication, discipline are the three most important things um, to be a footballer, for a coach to work in an environment where he knows he's going to get that from players and from staff across the first team, the academy. We, we have to understand that discipline, desire, um, honesty comes from within, but also comes within the organisation. And for us to, to get better um, and for us to, um, to improve this, um, this was one of the main things we found that we, we have to try and implement. Uh, there was a legacy, but you, you made a recommend. And a lot of people say uh, there are a lot of mistakes. So why don't they uh, buy uh, players of League Two or National who know the championship? Why to, 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 to go to, um, to foreign countries to, mm -hmm. to, to buy players who, who didn't know the, the championship? Mm -hmm. what, what can you answer uh, uh, about these questions? Um, so, uh, being honest with you, in, in, in the first two weeks or the first five days 
I was here. Um, so the, the first week of July, I had four players um, knock on my door and say that they want to leave. Um, and which is hard to take. You know, you have new, new owners coming into a club. You know what they've done at Southampton, um, the success of this season. Um, and obviously Gustepe, hopefully promotion this season. So it's a big springboard, it's a, it's a, it's a big project. Um, and in the first week to have four players say that they were promised that they, they were allowed to leave at the end of the season is something you're surprised with, but you have to manage. Um, and until January, we had to manage sort of two or three of those players. So that puts a spanner in the work, so to speak. You, you realise you need to make, we took over a, a, a squad uh, that was disgruntled, that was unhappy. Um, and we had to realise very quickly that in the last sort of six, seven years, this club has, has finished 16th, 13th, 13th, COVID, 6th, 11th, 16th, 16th. So this is a squad of players, but also a club that is not a winning club. Now, we want to change that. And to change that, you have to get players um, that want to come on that journey. And like I said, um, well documented, obviously, with, with Mo Kaba. Uh, it, it's a situation that we had to be strong with. Um, but then you have to find players that, like I said, the positions that this club has finished in, we, we have players that are part of that process in being unsuccessful. So we then go to recruit players that have knowledge we, uh, uh, of winning leagues. We signed a player that's, that's won the Dutch Premier League. We signed a player that's played in the Champions League in Portugal. Um, so there were some that haven't worked and we have to take responsibility for that. Um, the recruitment, me, no problem, no problem. We have to take responsibility for that. But when we, what I will say is what we inherited and what we took over was not a group of players that, if we're honest, were, were a top lead, lead do team. Mm -hmm. So. But you also made mistakes? Of course. In, you can't get every player right. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, unfortunately, like I say, there, there was a, a club that, fin that stayed up just, just about last season. Um, within that, they had a, a very good striker that was not our player. And we have a midfield player uh, in Mo that, that, that wanted to lead the club, that had an opportunity that was promised he could leave. So we understand that. And I had many conversations with him as an ex-footballer to understand the dynamic of how he feels in his mind. And him and his, and, he, and his agent were very honest with me from day one, and I was honest with them, and, and, and we made it work. Um, and and, and, and then, you, then you, you have to start to look into what discipline do we want, what standard do we want. And I remember uh, us recruiting these players, um, like we said, from Portugal, from Holland, from Denmark. Um, and they're big names, they're big name players, they're international players. Um, um, Valencia has never had five or six internationals that are going away. Um, Sasha going away to the AFCON, Lilepo, Jonathan Buatu. These players are, uh, they're big name players, um, which I feel that will come, will and have come good. Um, so we, we're trying to show the world, um, the other clubs and, 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 and people that it's not just French players that understand Lille Deux. Mm -hmm. Um, if we look historically at other clubs that have been promoted, Toulouse, um, Strasbourg, etc., it's 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 about creating that unity. It's about creating the squad and building a team. I don't think we've built a team, and I have to take responsibility for that. Um, a team is all in the same direction, mm -hmm. all believe in the same process, all want each other to deal do well. If you are left out the squad, you are not unhappy for that person in your position to play bad. Um, this, you shouldn't feel that uh, we, we should be a squad of people and squad of staff. And I, I don't feel that we've had, I don't feel we've had that togetherness, mm -hmm. um, which is something we need to change. There's a lack of team spirit this year, I think. Um, we are bottom of the league. So the, 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 the question, the answer answers itself. Mm. Um, We've had, we've had some, some huge disciplinary issues. 
Um, I don't want to, uh, again, we have to be honest always about that um, throughout the season. Um, from the beginning up until now, we have discipline issues. Um, I will never speak about a single player. Um, that's for me to deal with and the coach um, and the staff to deal with um, players on an individual. But as a team, uh, I don't think that they've managed each other. They've asked an, enough of each other mm -hmm. to be successful um, in any business, especially football. I have to demand off you. You have to question me. Mm -hmm. I speak with Johan five, six times a day. We eat dinner together once a week, every week. He asks questions of me, I ask questions of him. Because you have to get better. You have to learn, you have to improve by being open, but by, by really working and being focused on what is the goal. And the goal for us is to be together. And I don't feel um, within, within um, the changing room that there's been nowhere near enough demanding of, the, of each other or, or team spirit. Uh, some people talk, talk uh, to, to, to the club uh, that uh, maybe you, you are underestimating the level of the League 2. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you say about that? Because they say they, they, they don't take players with experience in mm -hmm. League 2, uh, maybe in National, maybe in League 1. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they took players in foreign countries and they were, maybe they were thinking that it would be easy. So mm -hmm. what, what, what can you say about that? No, not at any point did we think it was going to be easy. Um, I, I started watching, I was here in February, March, April, May, see all the Valenciennes games. Travelled France to watch many Ligue 2, uh, Liga, National. Um, so at no point did we underestimate uh, the league. Um, I think we have an abundance of experience. Um, we, you know, if we just name some players That, we, that, we, that we've bought in the building. Uh, Jean has many games in France. Um, Sacha Banz is Belgium, but it's, it's around the corner, you know, many, many games in, in uh, and, and being a captain. Um, so that sort of character. Andrew Young, many, many games um, who come into the building. We have players that have played hundreds of games at top level in the Premier League, in the Championship in England. Um, that has played many games in France in, early in his career, but they're, they're, they're hundreds of games old in their career. So it's not just understanding league do a level. Some of these players, uh, many of these players have played at a higher level um, than league do in France. And add to that, we, we have we have Kouf, we have Julian Masson, um, <laughs> we have uh, Hamash, we have Boutetel, we have players that at the beginning of the season, Hugo Bonnet, um, that have had many, many hundreds of games, many tens of games at this level. So I don't think a lack of experience of knowing Ligue 2 should be an excuse for me or for us or for the fans. Um, the squad of players, it now is more than good enough to be a good team in Ligue 2. Within that, we have a number of players that are out of contract at the end of the season, which changes your, your mindset, changes the dynamic, because you are, you, you, are playing, um, you are playing for your future. And it, it shouldn't be hard to give everything um, when, you, when you have only a year left on your contract because you have life after Valencian or you have life at Valencian to get a new contract. Um, so we've had a lot of players that are out of contract and we've brought in players, um, new players. Some have worked out, some haven't. Um, but there's been some real success stories as well within, within that. We have a, you know, we, for me, we have the best young centre-back in the world, mm -hmm. uh, 17 years old. Mm -hmm. He's played many, many minutes this season. Within the first couple of weeks, two weeks of being here, we, we had to show him the project. We had to... Um, We had to see that he believes that he will play first team minutes, uh, joking. Mm -hmm. And we have Suleiman Bass, who's, who's now um, you know, on, on the big stage. We have Manga, who has come from the B team, that has, that has played games. We have Tongi, that made his, uh, a real Valencian fan and boy, mm -hmm. who made his debut, who'd done well earlier in the season. We have lots of young players um, that we've made a success out of, that we've worked with, and credit to 
the formation, the academy, who who, who are working with us, who, who we are trying to help, um, adding more roles, um, becoming more aligned with the first team, and we have more to come. So I think there's been some real success stories um, from younger players also that, that have that have, that have come into the building. To be part of the next season, of course. For uh, sure. Uh, but what can you say about the next season? Uh, this season is over. It was it was not a good season. Mm -hmm. so the, uh, you know, we are last of the division. But for the next season, what will be the objective and how to to, to, to get this, mm -hmm. this going to to be promoted in, in the two next year? Well, already we just spoke about the experience that we've gone through now, that and and we can implement our methodology and uh, our infrastructure for next season. What, what wasn't here and what hasn't been here, we can now put in place. Like we say, uh, the, the training pitches have started now in April. We are getting those ready. So we know there was neglection from that. This will be correct next season. We know the gym, you, you, you've seen the training facility here with the screens, uh, with what we're trying to put in place here, the everyday professionalism, uh, the nutrition, having chefs, changing around uh, how, how we can make this as professional as possible. So straight away, we, we, we build that foundation where a player that comes here or players that are here, we, are, we expect them to be the best version of themselves. And we will leave no stone unturned with that. Um, there will be performance. Um, there will be performance staff. We have medical staff. We want to create um, a real alignment between everybody here. So we, we, we can get that right, which we didn't know until we walked into the building. That, that wasn't in place. So we can get that right. I think we really know now, and if any player that signs doesn't know, or, or staff member, um, that the fans have been brilliant. I must say that, um, and this isn't. Uh, if it was, if it wasn't correct, I, I wouldn't say it. But for me, they've been top, top um, support home and away. They've stuck with us. They haven't turned, and they've asked questions, um, and that's normal. I think we give a little bit of hope back with the cup run, with having a, a fantastic journey in that and, we, and with Leon, etc. But that doesn't, that doesn't paper over the cracks. Mm -hmm. That uh, we, we, have, we, have, we have to learn from that, how we've, win, how we've won games and, and, and take that forward. So we will do that by being ultra professional, by creating an environment that is a winning environment. We have to show from pre-season every day when we come in, what it means to be at Valencian. For all of us, for the fans, for the city, this is a hard working city. I've lived here now nine months. Uh, uh, I think I've eaten in every restaurant in, in, the, in, the, in the city. Um, you I'm, like the city? Yeah, very much, very much. Um, the, the, the people have been very good to me. I've, I've created some re real good friendships. Like I said, normally the restaurant owners, because I, I eat quite a lot on my own. Um, <laughs> But the, the, the people have been very, very kind, very friendly. Um, they help me with the language that we, we try. And, and I, I've, been, I've been accepted. I, listen, I, I'm, uh, I, you, you, you make, we spoke about sacrifice. You have to make sacrifice. I'm away from my family, uh, my wife, and my, my two children. And, and, and this, is the li this is football. This is the life. I'll, I'll, uh, uh, this weekend, I'll miss my son's birthday. It's, it's not ideal. We, I have to be dedicated to, to, to making it a success, always. And I, and I have shareholders and I have owners that are very understanding with that and they have backed it. They really, really backed this football club this season and they will back it again for the, for the, the coming seasons. This is not a short-term um, project. This is a long-term project mm. with a fantastic stadium, with a fantastic academy. And we want to make the first team now fantastic. The job you're doing, the, 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 the administrative side, what Yoen's building, uh, Matthew Boydan, Sofian, everybody. We're trying to improve each individual and each department step by step, but it takes time. We've had 18 players out and 18 players in to build camaraderie, trust, honesty is hard. It takes time. Fans don't want to hear that, I, and, 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 and there's nothing. We don't want it to take too long, of course. And next season, our goal is to be promoted from national mm -hmm. straight back. Mm -hmm. um, that has to be our goal.
but to get there, many things are changing and have to change. And we're not there yet. We have to, we have to be more disciplined. We have to create that togetherness. And I think that will come with all of the small parts of the infrastructure, the training facility, the staff, the pitches, um, bringing young players through. So the belief, the belief in, 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 in the journey, in the project, we have to, we have to really um, be dedicated and disciplined to doing this. Thank you, Ben. Just one last question. Uh, a lot of people were asking um, how you work for recruiting players. What is your methodology? Um, who, who, who's working with you? Mm -hmm. There is Mathieu, Mathieu Frison, of mm -hmm. course. But how many people are working mm -hmm. for the recruitment and how it happens? So we had um, uh, the scouting structure here when we, when we first come in was um, there was no real structure or, or planning or a um, or, or platforms to be able to watch or liaise on players. So we've, we've created a, a scouting team. Um, uh, Matthew Frizen has come in as head of scouting. Um, managed to bring him across from LOSC, Lille. Uh, has, a, has a fantastic history of, of being a, a first team scout. Has many contacts. He's young, very, very hungry um, to do well. Uh, travels France, um, so he's you know, he, he, his knowledge is, is second to none. Um, I have uh, another th two scouts, um, in Bel one in Belgium, uh, one in Holland, um, and at Sport Republic, I have an abundance of, 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 sc of scouts and recruitment analysts that work very closely uh, with me here and across the, across the clubs. Um, I, I think we I would say this, but as a multi-club, that the due diligence we do on players um, and finding players and bringing players like Oyewushi, like like Flamarian, um, if we didn't look at games, hundreds and hundreds of games a week, um, and have scouts working around the clock with video, um, with data, it's it's it would be impossible. Um, we we don't want to just recruit players that are out of contract at other clubs from the National and from Ligue 2. You, you, we find good players this way, but you also have, we speak about a desire and a character and a hunger to do well. Um, and I think uh, within our recruitment, we're, we're, getting that, we're getting that right now. I think if you look at the beginning of the season, um, the amount of change compared to January, where in January we, we was able to, to move six or seven players that had been here a long time. Mm -hmm. um, some players out on loan that wasn't playing and, and we only bought in two. Um, and, and the coach is, is always spoken to around the players that, we look to, that we're looking to bring in. He has an opinion. Um, I've never worked with a coach or in a club before where the coach isn't part of the recruitment. Mm -hmm. They always are. Mm -hmm. They watch the player, whether that be live, whether that be on video, um, whether he, he, can he can tell you no, it's, it's not of very course, familiar. Of course, one hundred percent. If a coach is, is really strong and says I'm not sure he fits into what we're trying to do, or in the changing room, the character in the changing room, um, then uh, he says that for sure. And I and I take that on board. We never make a signing um, that not everybody is is aligned with, and that's very important. The, the biggest thing f for me now. The biggest two things for us going forward is to get the right character, get the right character of person in this building, um, and to get players that understand what what Lido and the national is about. I want to be able to see Valencian in the team, hard working, never give up, desire, um, strength. That was what I believe in. I come from a part of London that you have to do that every day. You have to give that. Uh, that's a demand from my family, from the area you come from. And a lot of these players here are experienced. They come from the same alleys as me. Um, the coach certainly does. Um, and, and we have to show that to the fans next season and the owners that they can see us in the performance. Our DNA is that his strength, his discipline, his hunger to do well. We never give up. Every time that referee's first whistle goes for the start of a football match, we have to fight. Have to. Thank you very much.